One of the new features available in the Medmon E300 corneal topographer is an attribute that helps us to determine the sagittal height of lens that we might require when fitting beyond the cornea. An example might be a custom soft lens or a scleral contact lens. Start by taking a composite eye capture, imaging as much of the corneal surface as possible. The peripheral corneal shape has been shown in Pacific University studies to be able to estimate the angle of the surface of eye well past the cornea and into the sclera. This means that our, the Medmont corneal topographer can be beneficial in calculating or estimating the sagittal depth for your initial scleral or custom soft lens. Using the estimated height attribute, set your chord value for the diameter of measure that your particular contact lens calculates its sagittal depth over. If you use a lens that calculates the sagittal depth to a chord of 15 millimeters, then set the EH chord value at that particular diameter. Then the estimated height across the 0180 meridian or the 150-330 meridian or the 3210 can be used to estimate the height of the eye where the best possible imaging is available. Generally, near to the horizontal meridian is where we can get the largest area of capture to estimate the height of the anterior segment. So this estimated height chord value can be used to determine the correct initial scleral lens in a high percentage of cases. Simply enter the diameter of measure for your particular lens at where it calculates its sagittal depth. Then you take the estimated height, in this case across the horizontal meridian, it's about 3700 microns. We would add in the apical clearance of our scleral lens, the amount of fluid between lens and cornea. If we desire to have 300 microns of fluid on insertion, then we would need approximately a 4,000 micron initial scleral lens height.